Hello and welcome to Touch Plus. My name is Martin Berhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you the new feature called Generator and the way it connects Photoshop with Adobe Edge Reflow. This new feature is only available to Creative Cloud members. So it comes with Photoshop 14.1 version, but you have to also update Adobe Edge Reflow from the Creative Cloud Manager. So once you did that, you will be able to find these options in Photoshop. Under the File menu, you will see Generate, Image Assets and Edge Reflow Project. But you have to also make sure that under the Preferences in the Plugins options, you have the Generator enabled. So that's a preference which you have to make sure is checked. Once that's checked and you have both Photoshop and both Adobe Edge Reflow updated, then you will be able to use this feature, Generate Edge Reflow Project. Now, just like with the image assets, you have to make sure you name your layers accordingly, so it will be able to save files from it. So, for example, this iMac here is saved as a PNG file. So it's a smart object and it has transparency and uh, the generator will immediately save this as a transparent uh, PNG file next to my Photoshop file. But together with that, it will also create an Adobe Edge Reflow project file. So once I click on Edge Reflow project, I can see in Bridge, it will create a folder for the same file. So there's my home PSD file and next to it there will be a home reflow folder in which I will have an assets folder with all the CSS, HTML and image files as well. So here we can find that iMac PNG as, as I set it up in the layers. Plus we have the reflow project file as well. So if I double click on this one then it will open up in Adobe Edge Reflow and here we will be able to create a fully responsive web design. So without any coding, the CSS will automatically be generated based on what we create here and we can uh, customize the screen sizes that we would like the responsive site uh, to work with. So at the moment I have two sizes here set up and you can see it automatically realigns, changes the size and so on and so forth. You can create as many uh, screen size versions as you want and you can easily customize the behavior of all the elements. The great thing is that you can even change the text. So it's still editable text here, thanks to uh, the Adobe Web Font Kit, the type kit. And uh, that's not all, because we can also import new pages. So obviously most websites has uh, several pages. And uh, let's just open an another PSD here in uh, Photoshop. So that's my other page called Process. And if I just go back to Adobe Edge Reflow and click on the PS icon here, I can just simply click on Create New Page and that will automatically bring in the selected page. So whatever page or PSD file is open in uh, Photoshop, it will automatically use that and bring it into the same project. So I have already two pages, which I can see here in this icon. If I click on this, there's my page, which is the original page. I can even call that uh, index. That's the home page and process here next to it. So immediately I could create two pages for my website. But that's not all. There's one more thing I would like to show you, and that's how to import assets uh, separately from these PSD files. Maybe I have a separate PSD file just for the icons. So that's what I have here. Let me just open this quickly. So it says a set of icons, buttons and arrows. And I already added all the file formats next to it in the layer names. So you can add file extensions to layer names, but you can also do it on layer groups. That's very good when you have several elements and you don't want to merge them together. You can still keep them in a group and use the group for uh, creating a file. So once we have this, we can go back to Reflow again and click here on the library options, actually on the PS icon, and then click on library. And that will again bring all these files or layers from my open PSD file in Photoshop into library elements. So there's my 
writer or the RSS, um, the Twitter, and so on and so forth. So these are all great features and will help a lot to streamline a uh, responsive web design workflow using Photoshop and Adobe Edge Reflow.